musicians, it's Mrs. Mott here today to talk to you a little bit about jazz. And I always love talking about jazz at the end of the year because in our country, April is Jazz Appreciation or Jazz History Month. So there's lots of music teachers around our country talking to their students about jazz, just like I am with you. Today, I'm going to um, have a book for you called The Jazz Fly. And so The Jazz Fly is a cool book because um, I'm looking over here, I'm getting it ready, is it has a recording with it. So I'm not gonna read it to you, I'm just gonna turn the pages as the author, Matthew Golub, reads and performs this book for you. What makes this special is that he included some instruments in it. So when it talks about drums or it talks about piano or saxophone or the double bass, you'll hear those instruments along with the book. Today we're gonna to talk about scatting. And you're gonna hear lots of instances of scatting in this book. Scatting is where the jazz vocalist, the person who sings, will say or sing nonsense words or nonsense syllables in fancy rhythms. So in this book, he says a lot, za ba za boo za ba zi za roni And he says it a lot through the book and you're gonna be asked to echo it actually, so you'll get to practice that too. That doesn't mean anything, but instead it's a jazzy way to say a rhythm, but use nonsense syllables at the same time. A lot of times jazz vocalists will improvise it, which means they make it up off the top of their head. And so today your assignment, should you choose to do it, will be to write your own scat story. And I kind of have, if you've ever done Mad Libs before, where they have some of the words and then underneath it they'll have like pick a noun and you put a noun and it ends up being a really funny story about like watermelons or something. That's kind of going to be what you do today. Um, and you'll see that here below on Cecil that you're going to make your own scat story. And after you hear this book, I think you'll have a better idea of exactly what scat is. So for right now, though, in the rest of the video, we're going to listen and learn about jazz by uh, reading and listening to The Jazz Fly. jazz. As you listen, see if you can pick out all the other languages the fly hears while he's trying to find his way to the jazz club. Then listen for how the fly uses those sounds when he creates a whole new way to play drums. A fly buzzed by, it was late in the day, and he was lost. So he flew to a frog that was sitting on a log, and asked the frog which way to town. Zabazaboo, zabazizaroni. Zabazaboo, The frog didn't get the way the jazz fly talked. Read it, the frog answered. Read it, read it. The fly flew zzz, to a hog in a bog. He stayed clear of the mud to keep his black tux clean and asked the hog which way to town. Zabazaboo, zabazizaroni. Zabazaboo, zabazizaroni. Oink, the hog answered. Oink, oink. The fly saw a donkey short and gray, so he flew zzz, to ask him the way. The donkey just began to bray. <laughs> At last the fly flew to a furry dog. One more time he asked. Zabazaboo, zabazizaroni. Barked the pooch right away. She pointed her nose to say, go that way. <laughs> The jazz fly flew past weeds and clover till he reached a street that was paved all over. He leaned left down the alley, right through the door. He saw fancy waiters creeping all across the floor. 
Beatles and maggots had come to hear the show. They were dining with the locusts by the fireflies glow. The band was looking antsy. It was half past eight. They grumbled, man, this flight is always late. The flight took dead asleep. Strolled to his drums, twirled around his brushes, and counted off a song. Z Z Z Z Willie the worm inched up and down his bass. So this is a string bass. They're the lowest voice in a jazz band. Nancy the Nets I shade with her sax. A saxophone is an instrument you hear in pretty much every jazz band will have a saxophone. The fly swished with his brushes, thumped his bass drum, made the cymbals ring, and then like a chef stirring dinner in a pot, you put it all together and dished it out hot. Zap, zap, boom, baby, swish, zap, boom, zap, zee, zap, ooh, the fly was jamming, like scamming, but swimming. until now, suddenly felt kind of small. He knew he'd have to come up with something different if the jazz bugs were to keep their jobs at the jazz club. So he thought, and thought, until... The fly recalled the sounds he had heard that day. He mixed them all up in a brand new way. He crossed the bridge, stepped beyond the line, took a chance and began to shine. Switch, zoom, zap, it, boop, rabbit. drum set that the fly played, you have the string bass that the worm played, there's the piano the centipede played, and we're missing one. There's the saxophone that was in the book. So I'm actually going to stop it there. And so those are uh, an example of what a jazz band might sound like. I hope you enjoyed this story, and if you'd like, now you can go ahead and write your own scat story down below.